And I know I will get hate. I know that. Mm. It's an honest score from an honest man. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. You mad? Yeah. You mad woman. I am mad woman. Hello YouTube, my name is Kim Palipa. Welcome to my channel and welcome to part two of me and my wife reacting to Taylor Swift album Folklore. I know it's been a while since we uploaded the first part of the video, but we have a busy life. Yes. If you haven't watched part number one, I suggest you start with that and then you're more than welcome back here. And today we're gonna react to six new songs from the album. But before we do that, if you enjoyed this video, I need you to do a couple of things for me. I need you to like this goddamn video. I need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any thoughts about my reaction or my score or my wife's reaction or her score, leave it in the comments okay and last but not least my wife she has an instagram account where she uploads some really beautiful classy interior <laughs> pictures of our de- department apartment um so if you want to get inspired how you can design your home and stuff like that check her out the link to her instagram account is in the description do you have anything you want to say no no not at the moment. Well, goodbye! <laughs> nah, just kidding. Uh, we're gonna start with the, the first song called Seven. Please picture me in the trees. I hid my peak at seven feet in the swing over the creek. I was too scared to jump in. Sweet tea in the summer, cross your heart, won't tell no other And though I can't recall your face, I still got love for you Your braids like a pattern, love you to the moon and to Saturn Pass down like folk songs, the love lasts so Time. Score time. Do you want to start? I can start. Yeah. It was a sweet song, but nothing more for me. Mm. I thought it was okay. And it was good. And I... <laughs> I don't know if you can hear, but the cat is sniffing on the <laughs> microphone. <laughs> it was nice. More like, you know, uh, elevator music. Nice to have in the background or when you sit in a cafe. Not that I would like love to listen to it every single day. It's not that wow feeling, but mm. it's good. I kind of agree with you in most everything. It feels like, like you said, it's more like lobby music, mm. like a song you play when you're like cooking dinner. Yeah, it's a sweet basic song. Um, nothing bad to say about the song lyric wise or melody wise but the song didn't like hit me in like an emotional way or something like that um it's not a bad song but it's not like holy shit what a great song it is Mm. so yeah i i agree with you Mm. i give the song a 6.5 because i don't maybe i shouldn't but i am comparing it to the other songs we have listened yeah, to. Yeah, you, you should. Yeah, you should. good. Because I don't think it's the worst. Mm. Um, and the, I have given some songs six before. Yeah. Yeah. And I think this is a little bit better because the lyrics is very fine. Yeah. Uh, and the melody is fine. It's just not the 
that wow experience yeah. that I want. So 6.5. Yeah. yeah. And just to clear things out, this is her opinion and yeah. this is my opinion. Um, if, she, if you want to compare to the other song, that's up to you. Yeah. And if you don't want to compare it, it's up to you. Yeah. But I'm doing the same with you. you. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm comparing these songs to the other songs we have heard so far. Yeah, so far it, it, it's not the best, but it's not the worst at the same time. But my score is a little bit higher. I'm gonna give it a seven. Oh. Yes, yes. I was about to give it like a six or a 6.5, but then when we have, after the second chorus, when the violin came mm. in, I thought, okay, this is a little bit better. Yes. Uh, that fit the song so well. So we move on. Yeah. With the next song called August. August. Salt air and the rust on your door. I never needed anything more or whispers of are you sure? Never have I ever before. But I can see as lost in This song sounded like a like a soundtrack to a movie, a soundtrack for a romantic drama movie. Number two, I love the production around this song. Feels like I'm, I'm re- repeating myself, but feels like a garage home recording album, and I like it. I, I really do. And. This is one of the better songs of this album, I think. Really good melody, especially in the chorus. So yeah, thumbs up. (laughs) I really like this song too, especially the chorus. Mm -hmm. Like you said, I actually kind of agree with you on everything, but I don't think this is one of the best songs on the album because I have one of the previous songs a bit higher. Yeah, it's a really good song. The verse is bringing it down a bit because when I, I've listened to the chorus a couple of times because it's very popular on Instagram when you do reels or stories. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I've heard it a thousand times and I love it. I use it myself very much. So that brings my score a bit down. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But I like it. I really do. Okay. so, so, So you like hoped more. Yes, for the when, yeah. for the complete song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. because I haven't heard a complete song okay. ever. Yeah, before. So. I understand. Yeah. Scoring. Yeah. I give this song an eight. Oh, I gave it a seven. Ooh. Ooh. She's damn low tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate me this time. <laughs> hate my wife. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just kidding. Just kidding. No. Respect each other's opinion, guys. You know, this is our first listen yes. of the song. You guys have heard every song like 50 times. Songs ha- has grown on you. Yeah. We haven't got the chance. I respect that you guys don't agree with us. That's fine. But but when you guys are talking about like, how can you give this song such a low score? Well, it's based on our first listen, our first reaction, first thoughts about the song. And some songs will grow on us. Yes. But some songs won't because mm-hmm. that's our opinion. And you need to respect that. Because I respect when you guys are telling me that this song is a 10 out of 10. I'm not like throwing hate on you because of that that you think it's a 10 when i think it's a 
six, for example. I don't think you're wrong. I think that's your opinion. Respect that, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, by the way, the, the next song. This is me trying. This is me trying. I've been having a hard time adjusting. I had the shiniest wheels, now they're rusting. I didn't know if you'd care if I came back. I have a lot of regrets about that. I just wanted you to know that this is me trying. I just wanted you to know that this is me trying. I'm done. I'm done. Me first this time. It's you too. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it, but more than, yeah, I felt a lot of pain in the song and a lot of darkness. So I got emotionally touched, even if the song wasn't that good. But I felt it, so it must mean something. Yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. In basically everything there's nothing wrong with the lyric no. I, I felt it but I didn't felt the melody the melody didn't like interested me it was the, flat yeah it was very flat yeah um, the only like I know I'm harsh now but I love the arrangement in this song with the instruments. That's like the only, in my opinion, good thing I can give about this song. And of course the lyric, of course the yeah. lyric. Um, but, but the combination of the lyric and the melody and the song as a whole doesn't interest me, it doesn't hit me in, in no way. I'm sorry, but this song was boring. I gotta break it to you. That's my opinion. I'm not saying this song is boring to you. It's no. boring to me. Yes. Just to be clear. Don't get offended. I've already put down my score, but this is by far the worst song so far on this album. Oh, you think? Yeah, in, in my ah. opinion. Okay. Hmm? In my opinion. This is the worst song so far. I don't think it's the worst song. Uh, I gave this song a 6.5. 6.5? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure I wrote it. Uh. Yes. Uh. I give this song a 4.5. Oh, fuck. Yes. I gotta be honest here. <laughs> yes. It's an honest score from an honest man. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. I know I will get hate. I know that. Mm. Please, guys, remember, this is the first listen. And probably the last. No, I'm just kidding. Whoa. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The next song is called Ill Illicit Affair. Illicit. I don't know. Illicit. Illicit. Mm. Uh, just, uh, yeah, you, you all know we, 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 which song we are talking about. Make sure nobody sees you leave. Hood over your head, keep your eyes down. Tell your friends you're out for a run. You'll be flushed when you return. And that's the thing about illicit affairs and clandestine meetings and longing stares. It's born from just one. Single glance, but it dies and it dies and it dies a million little times. Don't call me kid, don't call me baby. Look at this godforsaken nest that you made me. You showed me colors, you know I can't see with anyone else. I would ruin myself a million little times mm, 
Nej, ja, 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 ja. <laughs> Give a like if you have ears. Um, I think this was a better song. I like the lyric. I like the melody. I have a little but. But it's not about this song. You have a little but. Yes, that too. Oh. Go check my OnlyFans. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to describe it, but 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 this is nothing about this song. It's about the album. There is like no up-tempo songs. And I don't know if it's like a typical Taylor Swift thing, but I've heard some up-tempo songs from you and from your recommendations. But I feel that I, I, I miss something. I miss these like energetic songs, if you know what I mean. It feels like it's a concept album for some, in some ways that it's a story. It's like an, yeah, it's like a movie. It's like a book. Yeah. It's chapters, but I, I miss that, that chapter, if you know <laughs> what I mean, where things just like get messy or something. Yeah. Um, and I think I'm losing my interest a little bit because of there's nothing new. So I just wanted to say it, but in this song, I like it, but I'm starting to feel like, am I actually enjoying this album or am I just enjoying the songs for as they are? Mm. I don't think I, as of now, I can like enjoy this album, but I can enjoy the songs if I just listen to this song and this song only and then go to another song from another artist or another album. Yeah. But I don't think I can enjoy so far this album like, holy shit, this is a great album. It's starting to, to get a little bit, uh, how do you say it? It repeats itself. Mm. Here we go. Another ballad. And it's nothing wrong with that, it's just my opinion. It's just that I miss that, okay, I need something for a change now because otherwise I'm gonna skip this and listen to another album by Taylor Swift or another artist that has that up-tempo. I just wanted to say that because there's nothing wrong with the song, but I feel like the album is maybe not my cup of tea. We haven't listened to the whole album. No. Maybe we have the best yet to come. Yes. I don't know. But yeah, that's my thought. Uh, on the last part, uh, I actually agree with you. Uh, there's a couple of very good songs that I already listened to again. Mm. But yeah, I, I think also that we need some kind of a game changer who makes us wake up a bit. Even if it's about the same theme or if she sings about heartache or whatever, mm. it needs to be some pff, explosions. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like the song. Uh, this is a good song, in my opinion. It's not the best song, but it's definitely one of the good ones Yeah. Uh, so far. Uh, also like the melody, the lyrics. Uh, it was nice. It was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. My score is a seven and my score is a seven Ooh, Ooh. damn explosions poof Oof. bada bing bada boom it's a good song but i'm speaking about the album as yes ov overall mm. that maybe this album is nothing for me but i can listen to a couple of songs but then i need something for a change mm. speaking about change yes we're gonna change to the next song called Invincible String. Green was the color of the grass where I used to read at Centennial Park. I used to think I would meet somebody there. Time, curious time, give me no compasses, give me no signs. Were there clues I didn't see? And isn't it just so pretty to think?
feels like I'm repeating myself or repeating you <laughs> I don't want to be hard against this song because I feel like I am it's not this song's fault it's the album like we said earlier yeah on the previous song it's boring it doesn't I don't know I, I just say I just won't say what you said yeah. That's it. That it's flat, nothing happens. It feels like we listen to the same song over and over again with different lyrics, different melody, but it's the same. No, it's not bad, but now it's getting maybe a lower point than it should be because of the album in total. The whole experience makes it not so good for just this song. Um so yeah, I really need a really good song next <laughs> uh, because I want it. I really, really like Taylor Swift. I really do. Yeah, you're you a big know. fan. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Uh, but you, I you are going to see Taylor Swift in yes. Sweden. Yes, in the spring. Mm -hmm. With my little sister. Yes. Yeah. So I really am. I've been enjoying Taylor Swift since she became a big star. Yeah since her first album i really have and i do like her i like her voice i like her music but when you listen to a complete album in this way that we do now then you see maybe yeah the flaws in the album not in the songs but that makes it hard to give this song a fair score yeah i think because now I'm comparing it to all the other songs on this album. If I would have listened to it in a different way, just this song, maybe I would have liked it better. But now I'm like, oh, come on, do something, do something different. Just, it doesn't need to be that much though. It doesn't mean need to be like a crazy pop song. It just need to be a something, something. Yeah. It doesn't need to be red. No. The, no, the no. Song red. Yeah. But but something different. Yes. Um, but, oh, I'm done. Yeah, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Uh, but yeah, I completely agree with you. Um, I'm starting to feel like maybe you need to listen to this album in like in a certain way. I'm gonna compare in like maybe in a little bit of extreme way, but. Let's say if you are getting ready for a party. You are showering, you're fixing yourself with the hair and the clothes and makeup and you want to get ready, you want to get pumped up. This is not an album I will listen to then. And I'm not saying it should be that album. But let's just say that I want to listen to Taylor Swift and I'm getting ready for a party for for example yeah i'm definitely not gonna listen to this album but i'm not into yoga but let's say if i wanna just relax and do some relaxing stuff like yoga meditating or stuff like that i think this is the perfect album for it mm -hmm. because this album will slow me down feel maybe some harmony and you know, vibes like that. I think this album is a good album for the right emotion. Yeah. For the right state of mind. What are you going to do? If you're going to do something and you want to listen to music while you're doing it, this album isn't for every emotion. I think this album is for one. 
And this song is, according to me, nothing special, nothing new, nothing like different from the other songs we've, we, we've heard. And it's sad because I, I think the album started pretty good. Like, okay, this could be very interesting to yes. see where it goes. But then now when we are a little bit more than halfway through, I'm feeling like, okay, is, is the next couple of songs gonna be like this? It's bad. Hmm. Not the album, but it, it's bad that I feel this way. Yeah. If you know what I mean. I don't want to feel this way about an album. Yeah. I want to get excited, but I, 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 I can't control my feelings and emotions about the song or about this album. I gave it an, a six. A six? Hmm. We're pretty similar. Hmm? I give it a 5.5. 5. Oh. Yes, yes. It's low, but it's not the lowest. People oh. remember I gave one song 4.5. <sighs> so yeah, I'm going to get some hate for that. You're crazy. I'm gonna get some mad women. Mm hmm. And speaking of mad women, the next song is called Mad Woman. Oh. <laughs> I'm so funny. I know. What did you think I'd say to that? Does a scorpion sting when fighting back? They strike to kill, and you know I will. There is nothing like a mad woman. <laughs> I know for sure. <laughs> I really want to say something. Okay, you can do it. Yeah. You can start. I can start. Yeah, you can start for sure. Because this made me a mad woman. This song has potential to be a, such a good song. It's not bad, but it should be... This should be explosive. This should be more aggressive, more tempo, more everything. Because the lyrics is really good. I really enjoy the lyrics. Uh, and this made, made me mad. Because I wanted it to be like, okay, she starts slowly. She builds it up like an old traditional Taylor Swift crazy song. And then it didn't. <laughs> and I wanted it to so bad. I wanted... I want it to be so good. I'm so disappointed. I'm sorry because I wanted it to be so good. Okay. It's okay. Mm. It's okay. It should be though. It was so good. It started so good. The lyrics are so good. Why couldn't the production have made it a bit more aggressive? Yeah. I wanted to feel the mad woman, just not hear about her. I wanted to feel her. Because yeah. I didn't. Ah, yeah. shit! You mad? Yeah! You mad woman! I am mad woman! Yes. She's redhead. Yes. That's why. And it's not fake. No, no, no. It's natural. Believe me. <laughs> but yeah, I, I know we we probably gonna get some mad viewers now. Not because of your opinion here, but my opinions also. <laughs> um, so I wanna cheer you up with some good, kind words. Because I actually like this song. 
I do. Uh. <laughs> I do. Uh. I think this is one of the better songs of this album. But I also understand what you mean. And this is something we, we all have. We uh, When I say we, it's me and my wife. Not, not, not you guys. Not you guys. Not, not you guys. But I, I still miss that explosive song. And I probably know already that we're not going to get it. So I'm starting to like, okay, I need to like, don't think about it because I I want to enjoy this album as much as I can do. I think I managed to do that in this song because I like it. I liked it. I really liked the lyric. I really liked the melody. I love the production around it. For me, this was a step up, but I still feel what, what you feel that, okay, maybe this song could be I'm not I'm I'm not spoiling anything now but this song could be like a 10 mm. if it was like you describe it yeah. that okay we we're starting slow now but then the chorus can, comes in and we're getting like boom mm. I'm understanding that this album is not about the boom but I but I'm a boom guy yes. <laughs> I want the boom I want the boom Sometimes. um so but and remember guys once again I'm repeating myself but this is our first listen it's the first ever listen, reaction, thoughts about the song. Yes. But I like the song, I do. And by the way, this is the last song we're gonna react to today for yes. part two. And if you want part number three, if you're not angry enough, <laughs> like this video. <laughs> and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And leave your love in the comments. And if you want to throw some hate, do that. And I will reply to you. In the most respectful way. But if you are disrespectful to me or my wife, I'm gonna be disrespectful to you too. With the blink of an eye. Alright, you go first. Yeah, I can go first. I gave it a 6.5. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I know. Ooh. It's a bit low. Yeah, it's low. But it's not the lowest. No, it's not the lowest. It's not the lowest. You have the lowest. Yes. <laughs> we are very different in this court. I uh, yeah, I gave the song an eight point five. Oh, yes. So, according to me, we we are wrapping this video up in a good way. According to you, we're not. <laughs> but, 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 people, 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 we have some songs left. Yes. We are gonna react to it, but not today. No. Nope. Because we want to spend some time together. Yes. Because this is your day off. She's working with horses. She's a horse caretaker. Is that the word? No. No? In English, it's called groom. Groom. Okay. I'm a groom. Groom. She's a groom. I work with race horses. Yes. yes. And you're working seven days a week. Six days. I mean six days, but it feels like seven in my head. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is like our day off together. Yes. But I'm... most important, if you enjoy this video, Give it a like and sub to my YouTube channel and give my wife a follow on her Instagram account as well. The link is in the description. Every thought is welcomed, so leave it in the comments. I wish you all a beautiful day. And a beautiful night. And I'll see you. When I see you. In the next video. Bye. <coughs>